Palm Springs police are cracking down on crime and they want residents and businesses to get involved in the process. News Channel 3 Samantha Lomibau is live in Palm Springs with details on this new approach that police are taking. Samantha. That's right, John. Palm Springs police will be holding two seminars later this week that will emphasize crime prevention and ways to maintain a safe city. Now they'll be starting in the downtown area, but they're hoping to implement this new concept citywide. I want uh, this to be something that our city looks at that when we're considering new developments, uh, that it's a part of the planning process, that we actually write this into code. To tackle crime in the city, Lieutenant William Hutchinson tells me Palm Springs police will be introducing a concept in two parts. The first, called Crime Prevention Through Environmental Design, or SEPTED for short, which focuses on architectural designs to deter crime. We want to make sure that we are considering building design, layouts of parks, um, layouts of residential communities, numbers of ways that you can go and look at a building again, look at parks, go, do I need to change building design? Do I need to add fences? Do I need to change the landscaping? The second, called Safe Growth, which encourages the community to partner with the city and police to use evidence-based approaches. Police will be doing a walk through the downtown area with residents, as well as planners, developers, and experienced criminologists. That have already uh, implemented these same strategies throughout cities throughout the United States that have already been successful, and that's really critical. So we're not making something up here. We're, they're they're going to be able to come to us and look at us. They've been doing this 25, 30, 40 years and have evidence-based strategies that will work. Hutchinson tells me Chief Andy Mills has pushed for more community involvement as part of his problem-solving mindset. Partnerships are, are always key. We can't do this alone, right? We have to do this with our um, business community, with our with our neighborhoods, with you know the people that live here and that work here. Um, that's that's key. In downtown Palm Springs at Sinfulicious, manager Valerie Gray is constantly outside the shop and tells me she always feels safe. Like I haven't had any issues. Like my husband used to tell me stories because he grew up out here. And I was like, well, that's nothing like that now. Gray tells me she believes the increase in police presence has helped. I do see them. I do see them patrol. And the best thing they can do is just keep working with the businesses. And as long as the business owners, you know, do what they're supposed to do, it should be fine. Now, like I said, there will be two seminars this week. The first session will be on Wednesday at 1 p.m. The second session on Saturday at 9 a.m. here at the police department. And anyone is welcome to attend. Now, for more details, you can head to our website, KESQ.com. Live in Palm Springs, Samantha Lomibau, News Channel 3.